Today is April 8th, it's Wednesday of Holy Week. And tomorrow we commence the sacred Triduum, the holy three days that mark the events of our salvation. Thursday night with the institution of the Eucharist at, at uh, Holy Thursday. And then Good Friday, remembering the Lord's passion and death on the cross for our salvation. And of course the Easter vigil, which is actually the commencement of Easter Sunday on Saturday night, where we remember his resurrection from the dead so that we might be completely free from the fear of death because we're filled with the hope of eternal life, won for us by our Lord. Interestingly enough though, Catholics all over the world will not, able, not be able to be in attendance. In fact, this church is usually full here at Our Lady of the Lake in Lake Oswego. It will be normally full, especially Easter Sunday, jam-packed. We add extra masses, but none of that will take place this year. Does that mean that Easter won't happen? Well, of course not. We, we still celebrate the feast. Now, when we do these, it's not just for sentimental reasons or just so you have something to observe at home on the, on the computer and the live streaming. It's, uh, we're not just reenacting those events to provide some solace. We do these things because Christ becomes real. His, his saving acts become real for us in these sacred liturgies. There's a particular word that our church uses called anamnesis. It's a Greek word basically referring to memory, but a particular kind of remembering that is so vivid. And this is a remembering that is given by Christ to the apostles and down to our own day to the whole church. It's a remembering that only the church can do collectively as the body of Christ in the world. We remember so vividly these events, as we do in these holy days, as well as at every Mass, that Christ actually becomes present. See, when you remember someone else, like a relative, you might be looking at a photograph, or you might have some cognizance of an event that took place uh, some years ago. But the remembering that we're called to in the sacred liturgies is so vivid and miraculous that Christ actually becomes present. We are at the, the Last Supper and receive his body and blood. We are at the cross at Calvary and remember what he did for us. We are at the tomb that is empty because the Lord is risen indeed. Those events are very real and will be just as real this year. Those of us who will be celebrating these events here at this at this church will be doing that in your place in your name and we wish that you could be here but in some sense you still are here with us just because we cannot be at the church does not negate the fact that we are the church just because you are not able to receive the body of Christ in the sacred species of the Eucharist doesn't mean that it doesn't negate that you are the body of Christ in the world. See, we're still living the gospel and we're united through the sacrament of baptism and through the Eucharist that we've been receiving all our lives and through all the sacraments, those continue to unite us and to make real the presence of Christ in our midst. And so as we enter into these holy days, I encourage you to be involved in whatever way that you can. Through the magic of the internet, you can follow us live streaming here at Our Lady of the Lake, and you can check the website for all the times. Or you can observe any, any liturgy anywhere in the world. You are, and we are all, part of the same true church. So may that unity of these sacred rites draw us together wherever we might be, and remind us in a vivid way that Christ continues to be present in our lives, whether we're here at the church or at home, because we will be here, part of the body of Christ, and that means the whole body of Christ will be present. God bless you.